people across the world are waiting for 5G networks to go mainstream. After all, the technology promises faster speeds and better connectivity. But the US, which has been at the forefront of the 5G revolution, has raised some serious concerns. They say 5G could pose a threat to airline safety. How true is this claim? And why is it not a problem in other countries? We look at that in our first story. Five G is seen as a game-changing technology across the world, but this next-generation wireless technology in the U.S. recently led to flight disruptions and caused some serious aviation crisis. So much so that major airlines across the globe, such as British Airways, Emirates, and Air India, either cancelled flights to the United States or switched planes at the last minute. My father-in-law was supposed to fly back to India on a direct flight on Air India, but uh, because of 5G problem, it seems the flight has been cancelled. It began after the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration warned that the new 5G technology could interfere with instruments such as altimeters, which measure how far above the ground an airplane is traveling. Also, it's a crucial piece of equipment for pilots, particularly when landing in bad weather. Altimeters operate in the 4.2 to 4.4 GHz range. And the concern is that the auctioned frequencies for the new 5G service sit too close to this range. In 2021, the United States had auctioned mid-range 5G bandwidth to mobile phone companies in the 3.7 to 3.98 GHz range on the spectrum, known as C-band. The higher frequency in the spectrum, the faster the service. So in order to get full value from 5G, mobile phone companies want to operate at higher frequencies. The airlines believed that the C-band for 5G could render a significant number of aircraft unusable and could cause chaos for U.S. flights. The frequency band that 5G uses is very, uh, very similar to the frequency band that radar altimeters use. Uh, and there's possibility that there's interference or false signals with the 5G uh, and a radar altimeter so you can which you would rely on with the radar altimeter giving you a certain altitude above the ground, it may be erroneous based on interference with 5G telephone frequencies. Airlines want the new 5G service to be banned within two miles of the airport runways. For now, US phone carriers such as AT&T and Verizon have agreed to temporarily pause some wireless towers near key airport runways to reduce interference risks, but the conflict still remains unresolved. It is a temporary solution. There are other long-term solutions. It may be that a, a thorough risk assessment uh, will declare that there is no interference. Maybe that remains to be seen. Um, uh, it's also possible for the uh, you know, radar altimeter to be redesigned to take into account the presence of signals in an adjacent band and, uh, and ensure that it works in spite of the presence of these, of these signals, which they are currently not designed to do. The European Union in 2019 set standards for mid-range 5G frequencies in a 3.4 to 3.8 GHz range. It's a lower frequency than the service set to be rolled out in the United States. The bandwidth has been auctioned in Europe and is in use in many of the bloc's 27 member states. So far, it has been functioning without issue. In South Korea, the 5G mobile communication frequency band is between 3.42 and 3.7 GHz. There has been no report of interference with radio wave since commercialization of 5G in April 2019. CTIA, a US wireless trade group, says in a filing with the Federal Communications Commission, wireless carriers in nearly 40 countries throughout Europe and Asia now use the C-band for 5G, with no reported effects on radio altimeters that operate in the same internationally designated 4.2 to 4.4 GHz band. 
A British aviation expert insists the US aviation regulator's concern over interference from a new 5G wireless service is precautionary. Now, even that is not 100% clear because we haven't got any confirmed case at all of any interference being reported in this country. And I can't find one in Europe or indeed Asia that's uh, where they're deploying 5G, which has similarly been affected. So at the moment, it's a precautionary thing. Um, I suspect that uh, the industry in the United States and the manufacturers and the regulator will solve this, if not by more buffer zones, by uh, introducing uh, better equipment on the aircraft or modifying that equipment on those aircraft which are affected. There is no clarity yet on whether the new 5G service actually poses a threat to aviation, but it will be interesting to see how firms, airlines and regulators manage to resolve this issue.